Hello friends and welcome back to Picture Astrology. In the series of planets through various houses, today we will learn about placement of Sun in the sign of Scorpio for a Cancer Ascendant horoscope. So when Cancer sign, which is the fourth sign, rises in the horoscope, Scorpio falls in the fifth house of the chart. So this video is also about sun in the fifth house for cancer rising. So before we begin our analysis, let's see what all houses this one placement of sun is going to impact. So we have cancer as the ascendant sign. And in this case, Leo sign falls in the second house of the horoscope. And sun is the lord of the sign of Leo. So definitely the Leo sign or the second house affairs will be impacted by this placement and we have the lord of second into the fifth house so fifth house is directly affected at the same time from this position sun will have an aspect on the 11th house the 11th as uh, seventh aspect so all matters related to 11th house will have a direct say because of this placement and lastly sun represents some natural things sun is the natural karka of your father it is the natural uh, significator of anything to do with authorities higher authorities your boss your uh, your government your relationship with them or the kind of position you may get kind of authority or powers you may get in life so all those things will have a direct say because of this placement of sun and we'll try to learn about them in next few minutes. Now let's begin our analysis with the second house related areas because sun is the lord of the sign of Leo which falls into the second house. And the first things you know the primary karkas of the second house are that it shows your wealth your accumulated wealth or money. It is the house which shows your family that is the family of birth. By extension it means that it also shows the state or how your family was when you took birth. So when this Lord of Second, the second L, falls into the fifth house, it is a very, very auspicious position because fifth house is a trine house. It is one of the most benefic houses in a horoscope. So what this generally shows is that the person is lucky. The first house affairs in, in Vedic astrology, first fifth house is known as the house of Purva Punya or luck. Um, ninth house is called house of luck, but Purva Punya means something which you get very easily in this life because you have accomplished those things in your prior lives. So when you have this Lord of Second in the house of Purva Punya or something let's just say easily accomplished uh, house what it generally shows is that <clears throat> the family uh, or the person is quite lucky in terms of the family of birth and the most of the people in the family would be in some way religious they would at least follow the path of moral and ethical lives unless obviously you know this son is highly afflicted but in any case the social perception of the family is very good in general cases the family would do well in terms of money and wealth as well the person is born generally in a rich family now obviously the effects on the second house cannot be ignored but this house at least shows that the the person not only uses the family wealth well but adds to it contributes more towards it because fifth house is one of the dharma houses or it is the house which shows your good deeds you make good use of the money and using that money you gain a lot of name fame and social recognition because this sun is on the 11th house so what uh, it says aspect on the 11th house so what basically it says is your family would be well known you would be able to utilize your family reputation as well as family wealth and add to it 
and gain more reputation out of it you will also have devoted family and you will be devoted to your family as well it is the house of dharma dharma means things you must do you know whatever is right to do and you will do right things towards your family you will do right things towards your friend circle your society because 11th house shows all these areas and in turn you will get good recognition see sun itself is the kark of recognition or your relationship with authorities or higher authorities or success and when placed in the 5th house having a direct aspect on the 11th basically shows that you will be able to utilize all the resources of the second house very well and earn a good name for yourself in society so from these angles it is a very very auspicious placement now in terms of food see fifth house among other things is also a house of things you would love to do you know it's not the things you have you are forced to do in life these are something which you have a natural flair for so when the sun is here in the fifth house as the lord of second one thing you can say is people with this placement would love to eat nice and rich food sun represents royal anything which is royal anything which is rich is sun so they would have a special liking towards rich food they would uh, i already said that they would be um, devoted towards their family as well now even though they would love to eat rich food they would not be glutton you know they would not go towards gluttony why because fifth house is the house of dharma things which you should do or must do or the right things to do it is not the house which shows ex extravagance you know it does not show going beyond the boundary it shows being limited in the social structure so you would not be glutton but still because the sign is the scorpio sign which is a watery sign and sun in a watery sign here can cause the stomach to bloat so you know enjoy your food but please take care of your belly this is a normal thing which i say when i get uh, this kind of placement but overall you know even with a small belly or a stomach protruding these people will have sort of a magnetic charm a magnetic personality in them because you know sun represents your basic self your soul and that sun is not only placed in a very beneficial fifth house it is also aspecting 11th so with your personality people will be you know sort of attracted towards you you will be able to sort of have a nice charm in the society or in your social circle or among your friends you could also be the center of your social circle and that center will not be because you know you have uh, uh, not because of brute force you know it will not be sun sun can be a brutal force sun is the king and especially in the sign of scorpio it is actually a very masculine position but purely because it is in the 5th house and aspects the 11th which has the mm, taurus sign the attraction or the command you will uh, have over other people will be sort of very charming and soft power so you know in terms of personality this is a very good placement but again keep good care of your stomach please now sun also shows your relationship with the authorities or higher power and your success and we already discussed it but i just wanted to reemphasize that because of these natural significations of the sun and its direct aspect on the 11th generally these people will be able to find success early in life that is before the age of 32 they could be well established in society given the fact that ascendant which is cancer sign and moon are well placed see 
generally in a horoscope interpretation nothing can be said without checking the ascendant because ascendant is by far the most important point of, of reference but you know sun is also another reference point and its placement in this fifth house will give you a great chance towards success and a good position of moon will basically just reinforce it or you know get that even early in life even like uh, before the age of 28 or so but generally this is a wonderful placement which can ensure a great relationship with the government authorities and also good success in life now a quick thing about one of the very important area of fifth house which is your kids or children so well first thing you should need to check is that okay son here actually gives less number of child but the kids really do great in life see son is not associated in terms of number of child you know sun is always associated with less number of kids moon gives a lot of kids sun gives less number of kids this is a general fundamental of vedic astrology however if there is any affliction on this sun see sun naturally is a malefic planet so what it does is in the fifth house it can show that uh, there could be some delay in getting a child these people generally tend to uh, sort of you know want kids early in life or soon after marriage however <clears throat> in case of any other malefic aspect on the sun that a delay could happen but that delay generally can be taken care by good medical advice it's not a worrisome placement in fact the placement of this son ensures that the kids once they get the kids they do very well in life and birth of kids can also kick start the person's life in many new areas because fifth house is also a house which shows new beginnings so in terms of kids or having children this is also a nice placement so friends this was my quick analysis of sun in scorpio for cancer ascendant i hope you liked it thank you for watching the video please do like and subscribe to my channel for continue to receiving more interesting videos thanks again for watching and see you again soon